Uh, I would yield three minutes to the gentleman from Utah, Mr. Owens. Gentleman from Utah. I thank the gentleman from Ohio. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise today in opposition to the Equality Act. The issues discussed as part of the Equality Act are important. Amending the Civil Rights Act to include sexual orientation will be a, a historic step. Unfortunately, without ex 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 explicit ex religious exemptions, there are many questions that, be that will, will arise. Title II of the Civil Rights Act currently prohibits discrimination in places of public accommodations on the basis of race, color, religion, or, or national origin. The Equality Act would dramatically expand the definition of public accommodation to include any place of public gathering, any establishment that provides a service, such as food banks or homeless shelters. Every religion and faith in America has had its own set of beliefs. Some of these, including Christian, Jewish, Muslim religions, are thousands of years old and answer to a much higher power. My personal faith as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints teaches me that every individual is a child of God and deserves to be treated with love and respect. My religion also teaches that marriage is sacred and eternal in nature. The marriage ceremonies conducted in the sacred places of my faith are conducted in temples that must not be deemed places of public accommodations. If houses of worship are defined as places of accommodations, a number of problems arises, many having nothing to do with LGBT rights. For example, can an Orthodox Jewish synagogue decline to permit an interfaith couple to have a wedding ceremony in the, in the, in the synagogue? Could traditional mosques conduct gender-separated classes for youth, and, uh, youth programs? Could a Catholic church homeless shelter have separate housing for men and women? Could BYU or other church-owned universities continue hiring those individuals who, who follow its standards? Democrats claim the, pur the purpose of inducing the Equality Act is not to impede religious freedom. In fact, Democrats claim that the existing laws is enough to protect religious freedom. But why then leave this crucial matter as unclear and to threaten people of faith? Why not accept an, an amendment to the Equality Act that clearly exempts religious organizations? Why remove the protections of the Religious Freedom Rest Restoration Act? The First Amendment right to practice our faith is at the core of our nation's culture. Our moral compass of service, tolerance, kindness, and charity stems from our Judeo-Christian foundation. No law should take, away, take us down the slippery slope of forgetting this legacy, regardless of its title. When Congress wants to protect religious expressions, it knows exactly how to do so. The last major civil rights uh, law enacted by Congress was the Americans for Disability Act. It contains a clear and explicit religious exemption. Why not make the law clear to promote civil rights and religious liberty? That would be a historic and indeed unifying thing to do. I yield back. Gentlemen, yields back. 